here we have the exercise file for this chapter. It's exercise 16.vwx and in the scene that's in front of us, which is rendered in OpenGL, we see several objects and some of them have textures applied. The slab at the bottom has a checkerboard texture applied to the top surface and the two walls as you can see have a brick texture that is applied to those. And the cylindrical object on the right has no texture applied. The color is simply the fill color for the object. Now if we render this in hidden line rendering, we can see that the walls have a brick hatch applied that is very similar to the brick texture that we saw in OpenGL. But the slab does not display any hatch at all. In OpenGL, we see the checkerboard pattern. But in hidden line rendering, we see nothing there. And the reason is that the texture that has been applied to the slab does not have a hatch associated with it. The texture, the brick texture that's been applied to the walls does have a brick hatch that's been associated with it. But the slab does not have a texture with an associated hatch. And so in this exercise, we will select a hatch and associate it with the texture that is applied to the slab. And this way, when we render it in in hidden line rendering, the tile hatch will show up just as it does when it's rendered in OpenGL. Now the texture that has been applied to the top of the slab is a texture called checker tiles, which we can find in the resource manager. So let's click once on the title checker tiles to select it and we right click and hit edit and the edit texture dialog box opens up and we can see a preview here on the right side of the texture, of the visual texture. And on the lower left side, we see the Edit Surface Hatch button. And it is by clicking this button that we will access the hatch, select one, and then apply it to this object. So let's click on the button. And the Edit Surface Hatch dialog box opens up. And here we can see an enlarged preview of the center of, of our texture here. And on the upper left side, there is a surface hatch selection button. If we click on it, we get access to the hatches that are available in, in the default content for the program. And above this gray line are the hatches that already exist within the file. This is an exercise file, so we've already included a number of hatches. And in this case, we will select, for this particular texture, we will select the, the hatch called Tile 12 inch Square. And uh, now we can see that the hatch has been applied on top of the, of the existing texture in the back. And you can see that the squares are actually a lot smaller in the hatch than they are in the, in the image square in the back. So the first thing we'll do is let's zoom out a little bit so we can see things a little more clearly. And now our task is to enlarge the size of this hatch so it will match in size the squares in the texture. So you see that there is an instance here of the hatch that is surrounded with blue handles. Let's just snap to the center of the underlying texture. And now we can just grab the corners and stretch them progressively. And we can grab it also and move, move the hatch around a little bit until it lines up with the underlying texture. It's a little bit of trial and error here. There we go. And now we'll click OK and click OK again. And now we can see that the hatch has been applied to the top surface because now it's part of the texture that is applied to the top surface. Now a texture can have a surface hatch associated with it and nothing else so that when it renders in OpenGL or in RenderWorks, you can see the underlying color of an object. But when it renders in hidden line rendering, you get to see the hatch. And that's what we're going to do in this case with that red cylindrical object in the back. If we click on the cylinder, you'll see that the fill color for it is the color that you see here. But when we will render it in, in hidden line rendering, you see there's nothing there right now because there is no texture applied yet, a texture that has an associated hatch. So that's what we'll do now. We will modify a, a texture that already exists in the file to contain an associated hatch, and then we will render it in hidden line rendering. So let's go back to OpenGL. Now here's our resource manager. 
the texture that we're going to use is parquet hatch only. That's a texture that already is in the file. So let's right click on it. And uh, you can see that the settings, the shader settings for this texture are in their default position. And that means that the color shader, the drop down selection is the default one, which is object attribute. And this will allow the, the color fill of the object to show when rendered in uh, color rendering, such as uh, OpenGL or, or RenderWorks. Our task right now is to attach a surface hatch to this and then apply the texture to the cylindrical object. So let's click on the Edit Surface Hatch button. And the Edit Surface Hatch dialog box opens. You can see there's nothing in the preview window. And now we will select in the Surface Hatch Selection button, Selection window, we'll select a hatch and you can see that uh, in this window there are a number of different hatches shown below this gray line are the default content hatches and above the gray line are hatches that are already living in the file or already included in the file so in this particular case we will select parquet Haddon Hall and now you can see the hatch in the preview window superimposed over the the gray background which really is just the intended to to represent the fill color for the object so there's nothing else for us to do here right now other than click OK and then click OK again so now we've modified this texture and we will apply it to the cylindrical object it's still selected so here we have our object info palette and uh, remember that the object info palette has three tabs on the top let's make sure that the upper right hand tab tab is selected and now we'll go to the texture drop down box select texture and the first one that shows up here is the parquet hatch only texture that we were working with so we'll click on it the window opens up the selection window opens up we'll click one more time and that is the texture that has now been selected again the OpenGL rendering doesn't show anything because we don't have uh, an image based shader associated with this the map type that has automatically been selected for this object is cylinder that works for us you can always change it later if you uh, like and now when we render it in hidden line rendering we'll see that the parquet hatch has been applied to the cylindrical object 